What it do, Scorpio? What's good? What's good with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? My name is Blue Flame. We about to get up in this thing and see what the ESS spirit wants you to know. If you find it some resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, you guys, my information will be in the description box below. All right, so we have self-esteem. So I feel like for some of you, you're being called to really focus and work on your self-esteem. Okay, you possess gifts of the soul that's going to benefit you, but it's also going to benefit others. So I feel like this is, some of you are going to be called to be put in the front line, okay? You used to possibly being in the background, you know, you want to help people do their little thing or this and that, but it's like you're being called to now be in the front. You're being called to take a leap of faith and put yourself out there. But I feel like because, you know, your self-esteem isn't too low. Maybe you don't feel that good about yourself, okay, Scorpio? We all different. We all got some flaws about us. And we can, if everybody was to say what they're changed about themselves, we'll all have something to say, including me. But I feel like you must understand, and this is something I'm understanding too. It's like when you have gifts, when you have talents, when you're sharing your word and you're sharing your 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 gifts with people, you know, you're sharing products, whatever it is that you're going to be sharing with other people, they don't give a fuck about what you look like, Scorpio. If they love you, they're going to fuck with you regardless, okay? Y'all don't give a fuck about what I look like. Y'all love me and you fuck with me regardless, right? So I feel like your self-esteem could be holding you back from really just putting yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you feel like, oh, I... Something wrong with my face and my nose too big. My lips, Scorpio, I got a big flat nose, big lips, okay? I got some side teeth missing that I need to get put in. So it's like I can't focus on that type of stuff. I'm not the only person that's out there like that, okay? I feel like this is going to make people more comfortable with you because they can relate to you, okay? Now, I feel like some of you have been in denial about something, okay? You've been in denial, and it's got the sacred chakra. So this has to be like maybe with your desires. Maybe this is someone that you desire that you want. But I feel like you're only in denial because it's like if you see some type of truth, it's going to cause some type of fear here, okay? But I feel like whatever this is that you're fearing, like this is some type of truth because we got honesty, okay? I feel like you're in denial about possibly someone here being honest with you about them or, or something here, but you're called to be to use your intuition. You can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. So you're going to have to be honest with yourself when it comes to a person or a situation. Because I feel like for some of you, you don't want to see the truth out of fear. You know, it's going to hurt you possibly to see that maybe this person ain't who you thought they were or they had these intentions for you like they you thought they did. But you got to be honest with yourself. You can't always expect other people to keep it real with you, but you got to be the one to keep it real with yourself. Here, okay. And this the now that you're having could just be fear that you're feeling okay it's like you don't want to really see some type of truth here but use your intuition with this purple because this purple is going to help you see the things that you need to see all right y'all so let's pull let's see what it is that scorpio needs to know messages for my scorpios what is it that my beautiful and my handsome scorpios what do they need to know Today, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. What does Scorpio need to know? What messages do you have? All right. I bury myself in work to forget about you. Okay. So some of you, maybe you're trying to forget about someone. It's like this person stays constantly on your mind. Or maybe you're constantly on someone else's mind. But it's like they try to, they're trying their best to keep you off your mind, okay? This could be you or someone else. So someone here could be burying themselves in work. You know, they always trying to stay busy so that they don't have to think about you here, okay? All right, tell us more. Messages for Scorpio. And this could be someone that's unable to free themselves from a sticky situation, okay? So this gives me the energy of someone who's been thinking about you, all right? So someone here thinks about you constantly, Scorpio. I'm talking about from the time they get up in the morning to the time they close their eyes and go to sleep. And then even when they close their eyes, you still in this person's energy here, okay? They still see you. 
But whatever this person is going through, they've gotten themselves in a very sticky situation here, okay? It's like, this is someone who feels like they can't free themselves. But if they take a step back, they'll be able to see exactly how they're going to get out of this mess here, okay? So someone has really got themselves in a sticky situation. It's like, they don't know how to break free. But it's like, if they just take a step back, if they reflect, okay, maybe spend a little time to themselves to, you know, receive these answers, they'll see their way about this situation here, okay? Tell us more, Holly Spirit. Messages for Scorpio, all right? But this is someone that started to understand this connection, okay? So if this is not you, okay, I feel like some of you guys, remember I was talking about self-esteem. This could be you, but could be you. But also someone else in your energy needs to be honest with themselves, okay? Because they can be in denial. Maybe this denial, you know, this is someone who didn't want to accept the fact about something, but it's like they can't help it here. Because this person is starting to understand this connection. See, in the past, they didn't understand why they always thought about you. Why, you know what I'm saying, they would think about you, why you stay constantly on their mind, why, you know, they had these feelings. Like, they didn't understand what all this shit meant. But now this is someone that's starting to understand. Okay, now I understand maybe why I think about this person. And now I understand, you know, why Scorpio stay constantly on my mind here. But whoever this is, they're involved in some type of sticky situation here, okay? So there can be someone else involved. And it's like, they don't know how to free themselves from this, okay? We got hard, okay? Things are just difficult right now. You can be feeling like things are difficult in your life right now. You know, maybe in the spiritual realm, okay? In the physical realm, your finance is dealing with family, friends, work. But you need space to sort out your feelings so that you'll know what to do. For some of you, this is what you need to do. And this is what this person needs to do that finds themselves in this sticky situation, okay? Maybe you're involved in a sticky situation, Scorpio. You're trying to figure out how to see your way up out of there, okay? Things could be difficult, but if you just take time to reflect, I promise you'll be given the answers that you need here or that you're seeking. Give me a couple of more messages for Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. All right, so we got dark side. Your dark side keeps you from enjoying the love you have. Don't let it steal your joy. So someone here could be operating out of their lower self, okay? You know, we have a, a dark side. You know, we represent the dark and the light. Sometimes we got to tap into that shadow side to protect ourselves. But it's like someone here always lives in their dark side. And because they're in this dark energy or this darker place, like they can't even see that they have love around them. You know, they can't see that they have peace and harmony, but it's like they're allowing other people to steal their joy here. And so because they've allowed other people, this is someone who has given their power to someone, you know. And it's like you've allowed someone here or someone has allowed someone else to take, to steal their joy. Like they can't find this place of peace and happiness, but it's because they're allowing somebody else to steal their joy here. Yeah, look at this rabbit hole. Crazy drama makes for wild adventures, but not peace. Look at this. Somebody experienced a lot of drama in their life, but they ain't got no peace. Come on through, spirit. How far are you willing to go? So somebody here may like, you know, drama. Like, there are some people that really feed off of drama and chaos. You know what I'm saying? But that, that gives me that lower vibrational energy. But it's like, how far are you re ready to put yourself down this rabbit hole just to seek some type of adventure or to say you got a little fun in your life here? Let's get one more, and then we're going to see what it's about. Messages for my Scorpios. Give me one more. <clears throat> All right, we got distance. So far away, physically and emotionally. So there can be some distance in between you and this person. You know, there can be physical distance. Maybe you guys live in different cities, states, or even countries. Or there's some type of emotional distance. Like your feelings ain't the same for this person. Your feelings have changed here. See if you can rekindle the passion again. Okay. So let's pull. Let's see who this is about. So let's look at this tangle. But let's look at denial. Let's let's look and see what this situation is with this denial. Because someone here is in denial, but it's like they really need to be honest with themselves about something here. So tell us about denial for Scorpio. Three of Cups. Yeah, someone here is in denial about a third party. <laughs> or for some of you guys. Maybe you are in denial that you have people who want to celebrate with you, okay? Because we got the Three of Cups as well. So these can be people that want to celebrate with you, or for some of you, this could be someone that's in denial about a third party. Maybe you have people come towards you. Don't, that last reading I did talked about Mercury, 
you know, have people reaching out for you. Can have people that's reaching out, and maybe you're in the now. Maybe you fear, you know, uh, hitting them back or seeing what they want. But it's like you need to replace that fear with the word. It's hey, just hit them back and see what the hell they want. Okay. Let's get one on this sticky situation. If somebody here is in this tangle web, okay? What they say, with a tangle web, we weave, okay? If someone here feels like they just can't see themselves out. Yeah, this is your masculine here. But they're in this karmic energy. This is your divine masculine, but they represent this karmic because they're this emperor in reverse here. And this is someone that's operating out of their darker side. Come on through spirit. And it's like they're allowing other people to steal their joy because they want to be dominant. They want to dominate a situation, okay? They they essentially have control. So this is a control freak that's always wanting to dominate, dominate things and flex their power. They can be a tyrant. So when things don't go their way, they, you know what I'm saying, they own one acting a damn fool. But it's like they lack discipline. So it's like nothing ever goes in this person's favor. This is someone who always having these talks with the universe and why I can't have this and why I can't have that because you try to control everything, okay? They're very stubborn. So if it's like the universe try to get them to change and work on themselves so they can have the things that they want, they're not going to do it. So this is who this person is. Some of you, you can make me feel like you're in a sticky situation when it comes to this karmic. Maybe you're trying to free yourself from this karmic relationship, but that shit is hard as hell. Okay, but this is someone who is, is operating out of their, their darker side here. Let's get one more. Messages for my Scorpio. Let's get one more here. What does Scorpio need to know? This landed on the now. For some of you guys, yeah, there's been a stalemate. For some of you, I feel like someone here has reached out. And you have a difficult choice to make here, okay? Because this is a decision. You're in denial about something, but it's like you fear it. You can fear like maybe these people want to do help you. Maybe there's some people that do want to come in and celebrate and help you here, okay? These talk about social gatherings, friendships, parties. It's going to be involving family and friends. But I feel like right now you're kind of guarding your heart. Maybe there's a situation that happened between you and a family member or a friend. You know, you just told yourself you weren't going to fool with their ass no more, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But there is some type of hidden information here. And I feel like if you seek this information, if you get insight, you will see the only fear was causing you to be in this energy here, okay? All right, you guys. So let's go. Let's let's roll and see who this reading is about. I love you, Scorpio, and I hope something here has resonated with you. All right, so we got Libra, Leo, Pisces, Virgo. Heavy Libra, Capricorn, Virgo. Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.